had some loud storms roll through this morning. Oh, yeah. They were pretty. It's been a while since we've heard storms. I, I think maybe that's why. It's but been it's about loud. three weeks since we had official rainfall here in the South Bend. So quite the thunderstorms. No severe weather, thankfully, yeah. but it did bring some of us some of that liquid gold. Let's play a game called uh, Where's the Cold Front? Well, it doesn't take a scientist to show you where that cold front is. It's just off to our west, just west of uh, Decatur, Chicago there, and that's going to begin to work its way into Michiana over the course of the next few hours, and that's going to drop the high dew points. Yeah, we're going to take that air. You can wear the higher humidity values, and they're going to go down as early as tomorrow. And in fact, by late tomorrow, Friday and into Saturday, that's when you're really again going to notice the difference in how the air feels, not just for the actual air temperature, but as we begin to lower down those dew points. Live look on our first alert weather camera up into St. Joe, where we're starting to get a few breaks into the clouds right now. 75 degrees wind out of the south. And again, until that wind switches to the north and west, that means the cold front hasn't come through just yet. So as long as we have that wind in the south, we're still awaiting for that cold front and just check out how soupy that air is. That dew point right now at 71 degrees. We're going to drop that by about 10 degrees by daybreak tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the heels of the mid to upper 70s across the board. We're looking for high temperatures today, likely to top out right around 84, 85 degrees as we head on into the afternoon. And if you pull out your first alert weather app and if you take a live look at your radar, not going to show you much right now as again we bypass those showers, but check out the hourly data here as we go on into the afternoon. Notice how we get a few more thunderbolt icons starting to show up. Yeah, that's when we start to increase those rain percentages and as we go throughout the rest of the day planner here, even on into the evening hours, we're going to have another chance of maybe some of that precious liquid gold after sundown behind our cold front. So let's put all this into motion here on the future track. Let's go hour by hour about the next hour from now. Still staying completely dry and quiet once again across Michiana. Notice how between three, four o'clock future track tries to bubble up some of these showers and thunderstorms. Now I think a good chunk of the atmosphere has been worked over from our early morning showers and thunderstorms. So this is something we're gonna have to keep an eye on 16 Doppler max closely and see if what's shown here on future track actually materializes on the radar as we go throughout the mid afternoon hours and future track by 5 p.m. tries to move some of those bubbling showers and thunderstorms over parts of South Bend, Elkhart, up across southwestern Michigan as well and over until LaGrange and LaGrange you kind of miss the, the bulk of the rainfall earlier on today. Once that uh, moves on through, that's the cold front and that'll begin to work its way out of Michiana and then our wind switches directions to the north and west. And as we head on into the overnight hours, here we are paused at 1 a.m. Notice how we'll try to bubble up a few more of those scattered showers across Michiana. We may make up wake up to one or two of those spotty showers towards daybreak tomorrow morning. And then we'll have to watch out for maybe some lake effect rain showers developing well west of US 31. We're talking Laporte, Michigan City over towards Chesterton, of Valpo areas. They're going to have to watch out for some of those lake effect rain showers as we're likely going to get a nice wind right off of the lake there at a north wind. And that's going to keep our temperatures cooler as well. We're looking at daytime temperatures over the next few days to stay down into the upper 60s. So if you like the humidity, Enjoy the next few hours as that humidity is going to begin to backstep as early as tomorrow, right on into Friday, as again, our wind will begin to switch directions. Taking a look at the first alert 10 day, want to show you the weekend and what a weekend this is going to be for the second weekend in September. You cannot ask for any better weather as we're going to have those temperatures into the mid to upper 70s with just times of sun and clouds. Beautiful. Really nice, Andrew.